It used to be that harness racing was strictly a rural affair, limited to county fair competition among neighbors' horses. But today, harness racing is a big-time business, an action-packed nighttime business, spanning the United States from Maine to Florida, from New Jersey to California, and also extending to Canada, Asia, Europe, and Australasia on a large-scale basis. It has its breathtaking new facilities, such as the Meadowlands in New Jersey. And it has its historic structures, such as the Red Mile in Lexington, Kentucky. Harness racing has its own Hall of Famers, with longtime stars Stanley Dancer and Billy Houghton still among the sport's best. And younger men such as John Campbell and Bill O'Donnell promising to be future Hall of Famers. Campbell and O'Donnell annually drive the winners of over $5 million. Quite a change from the days when Dancer or Houghton would lead the list with earnings approaching $1 million. And the sport has its equine stars too. Cam Fella, winner of 28 straight against the best pacers in the world. The sensationally swift Nia Tross and the immensely popular Rambling Willie. All three of these champions retired with over $2 million in lifetime earnings. And this fact brings up an important point, that harness racing, long thought of as thoroughbred racing's poorer cousin, now offers purses that rival and often top those in the thoroughbred sport, with several million dollar stakes annually, topped by the Woodrow Wilson Pace, whose purse has exceeded $2 million. Harness racing is thus a sport rich in opportunity. And year in and year out, some of the biggest winners are those communities which host the trotters and pacers. In fact, about the only sure thing in harness racing is that those areas which feature racing are reaping major economic rewards. Harness racing can and does bring millions of dollars a year to both state and local governments wherever it is held. The most obvious contribution harness racing makes to state government coffers comes from the taxes placed on wagering. Although the percentages vary from state to state, harness racing significantly adds to the cash flow of every state hosting the sulky sport, with over $100 million generated annually. Harness racing in two states alone, Illinois and New York, has combined to generate over $50 million annually during the last few years. Wagering taxes help support a variety of worthy public activities. Nationally, the largest amount of this revenue is allotted to education and to public services. The state also realizes revenue in other ways, mostly through taxes associated with admissions and with licensing fees. Local economies also share in some racetrack-generated dollars, but the greatest impact on the local levels comes in terms of the creation of employment opportunities, giving a tremendous boost to the economic status of any community. Well, we've done some studies uh, and using the figure that the U.S. Labor Department uses of $2.50 for every dollar spent here, uh, we've come up with an impact that's in excess of $300 million on the local economy. The list of jobs created by a racetrack is long and diverse. Many jobs are obvious ones, and many are jobs you might not think of right away. There are the workers at the racetrack, racing officials, mutual clerks, ushers, concessionaires, and other functionaries that help the evening go smoothly for the fans. And there are the office managers and workers that keep things running smoothly behind the scenes. We employ approximately 3,000 people here, uh, many of which are per diem, but because we race 290 uh, days or nights a year, uh, for all practical pur purposes, they're full-time employees. There's another 1,500 employees, or another 1,500 people that are employed by people who are here, such as horsemen. So when you put everybody together uh, with grooms and trainers and, and uh, hot walkers and so on, uh, we have close to 4,500 people who are employed here. In addition, horses and horsemen require the services of the veterinarian, the feed man, the blacksmith, and the trucker. To give horses a change of scenery, many horsemen now use training facilities and farms away from the racetrack to keep their horses in top condition. There are also farms which serve as lush breeding centers, 
with some of the sports champions hoping to breed their winning ways onto the next generation. These farms and training centers such as Ben White Raceway in Orlando, Florida, create a large demand for both full-time and seasonal workers. To the city, this uh, 658 horses uh, training at this facility uh, is uh, quite an input to the economy. Uh, it takes about 400 to 425 employees to uh, maintain these horses. Further, the farms and the racetracks themselves require constant upkeeping and maintenance, requiring work for builders, fencers, and other laborers. A racetrack brings people from outside areas to the local community, providing increased opportunity for restaurants, motels, stores, and other businesses. And then there are the sales companies and bookkeepers, and insurance salespeople, and writers and photographers for publications, and the list could go on and on. It's easy to see that harness racing is really a boon to the employment situation in any community. Harness racing is also a non-polluting industry, adding to the ecological and aesthetic qualities of an area. The tracks, and especially the farms, form an agricultural green belt, which is a desirable advantage in any community. And much of this new green belt is often land that was formerly fallow or unproductive. Racetracks create many advantages for a local community. And unlike many new businesses, they do not place an appreciable additional demand on local services such as schools. Also, harness races are generally held at nighttime and therefore would not block or clog local roads with traffic during peak commuting hours. Racetracks help keep the entertainment dollar in the local community while bringing in patrons and dollars from other cities and states. The racetrack also provides a setting for family entertainment. There are a variety of things for kids to do, but most just enjoy watching the colorful horses and drivers, while the adults go about their business of trying to bring home a winner. Harness racing is a sports event of unequaled excitement, with well-conditioned trotters and pacers battling for supremacy over the mile distance. There are few things more enjoyable than watching a fierce stretch battle. Less than an eighth of a mile. Hit parade on the outside. Naughty but nice at the rail. My Melissa and Dale Daly. Hit parade and naughty but nice. Hit parade, naughty but nice. Yes, there are few things better than a close stretch drive. Unless it's cashing a winning ticket on your horse. Harness racing is still enjoyed at about 450 fairs throughout the United States and Canada. But it has also grown into a multi-billion dollar industry, providing quality entertainment to over 20 million fans annually, and also providing major economic benefits, totaling into the millions of dollars in some cases to those areas hosting the trotters and pacers. This is what harness racing can do for you.